In September, the El Dorado fires ravaged the Yucaipa, Banning, and other surrounding areas. Since then, residents have been faced with the aftermath and the worry of another fire erupting. For Yucaipa resident Alexis Rodarte, her worry is no different. smoky it smelled even in my house it's just something i never really experienced before so it's pretty crazy the el dorado fires began on saturday september 5th and burned over 20,000 acres in ukaipa and san Bernardino national forest according to abc la hundreds of homes were put at risk however only four residences were burned down so when we got home it was the evening hours and we can see the ridge on fire from our backyard it was just kind of scary because it was it was it did get pretty close derica johnson an electrical planner at hampton tedder spoke about the importance of electrical companies taking action to prevent fires during fire season last year nearly 2,000 acres were burned in ventura when a fire broke out on october 30th according to mercury news edison is now taking the blame to avoid that we're going in with cover conductor so with cover conductor, it would just be the same wire, but it's covered in this weatherproof aluminum, which basically should um, withstand like fire resistance kind of. I'm not saying that it's not going to burn, but it's not going to burn as fast. Firefighters work tirelessly to put out the fires in Yucaipa and its surrounding areas. This year alone, there have been several fires across California, especially in the southern region. Many are now advocating for residents to use better judgment in the future to prevent this from happening. CSUF News, Kenya Staley.